Ground yourself. Feel the energy of the mountain. Draw on its power. Emberlab is a really small studio. Uh, we have a background in uh, film and animation. Uh, we got our start doing visual effects for films. And then from there we grew into doing a lot of uh, animated work for commercials. In between commercial projects, we would always siphon off some time to learn new things and you know, be a little creative. And over time, you know, we, we decided that, wow, we have a real passion for games. Um, and we wanted to throw our hat into the ring with the, our first project, Kena. <laughs> Something tells me you did not come to our village looking for forest creatures. Hello, spirit. I seek passage to the Sacred Mountain Shrine. We've been playing games our whole lives together as brothers. Um, and. The action adventure games are sort of what we play together and we also enjoy. Yeah. We kind of had this idea of the rot being a kind of a force of nature that was maybe working against you. It was kind of the enemy initially. And then I kind of had the thought to flip it where the rot, be rot become your companions. And that's when we kind of like found that we, we had something kind of unique. <laughs> uh, it opened up a lot of cool mechanics, especially with the puzzles in the game. You know, you, in, with film, you can just put the camera where you want it. You can tell, you can, you have complete control of what they're seeing, when they're seeing it, how they're seeing it. And in games, all that goes out the window. So communicating ideas or themes to the player is a lot more difficult, we found. Yeah. You have to be really sort of crafty in how you're getting communication to the player, um, especially when it's trying, you're trying to do it through gameplay and not just like always through cutscene. One of Tara's memories. I should see what leads me. We love creating immersive experiences and we try to really think about atmosphere and tone a lot when we're, when we're in on the game development side. The storytelling and atmosphere is a big part of our traditional medium in terms of film aesthetics. Just having the world be something that you want to sit down and explore and be a part of um, was a goal of ours from the beginning. Having a nice uh, team of, of really great animators who have worked together, I think was paramount in terms of pulling off some of the, the storytelling we want to do with the game. actually making like a 45 minute animated movie inside of a game. Hi. We're really proud of the team. A lot of them come from the visual effects and animation background and kind of like converted their skill sets from the film and animation background into um, developers on, on the game side. During the process of making the game, we also were introduced to a musical group called Sudamani. And we actually, you know, Jason and myself went over to Bali to do recording for the, the soundtrack. One of the 
the things that's grown out of that relationship is uh, Dewa is, is, is the composer, but his daughter Ayu is actually the voice of Kena. My name's Kena. What are you two doing out here? She's never done any voice acting, but she fit right in. It's okay. You have to go now. You know, we wanted to make a game that would just excite us if we saw it. You know, something that we would see the trailer. Oh yeah, that's that game looks awesome. Yeah. So as difficult as as it has been, it's also very rewarding because it's like something that we would be very proud of. Yeah. Something that we would want to pick up ourselves. You must move on. The path of a spirit guide is a lonely one.